So I got the uh, exhaust spout welded. Get that to focus. Um, you can see I just uh, welded the pipe on the inside. I, I'm not welding it back here at all because it's sealed here, welded here, and it's actually a really tight fit anyway. It'd probably stay in there without the weld. But um, I touched up the top with a file, make it nice and flat. And I just went around the outside edge with my uh, buffing wheel. You heard spooling down there. So that's done. I can put this on the bike and I can start um, sectioning pipe to where I want the turbo to be. Uh, but in order to do that, I'm gonna need to actually put it together because it's all apart right now because um, I was grinding on it to port match it. I need to clean it. Um, oh, this is the wastegate. I didn't show you that earlier because it was covered, but that opens up so your exhaust can go in and then right straight back out so it's not spinning up the turbine to make pressure. So, yep, let's reassemble it. Put that uh, little spout chunk on there and uh, figure out where we want this thing to live. So it's uh, pretty much an unwritten rule of modifying stuff with engines. When you uh, mess with the exhaust, you gotta rev it up, right? So the exhaust on my CRF 250L is currently 1.04 inches long. <laughs> Because why not? <laughs> oh, that is just ear splitting. 